The Crypto Buffalo Report is brought to you by CryptoBuffalo.com. Is everybody in? Is everybody in? Is everybody in? The Crypto Buffalo Report is about to begin. The world needs more music festivals. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Dude, you're right. It is my opinion. And let me tell you exactly why the world needs more music festivals. Some people say the world's going to shit. I say get those people on the dance floor immediately. Get people out of their heads and into the present moment, into the flow, into their element. Donnie, you're out of your element. Perhaps Donnie needs a music festival. Perhaps Donnie's been holding back all these years. And deep down, he really just wants to dance. More people are starting to value experiences over possessions these days. And a music festival experience can be life-changing. Over the last four years, I've started to truly embrace what these festivals have to offer. I've traveled to Costa Rica and embraced the Envision Festival for the last two years. Envision is a four-day festival perfectly nestled between the Pacific Ocean and the wild jungles of Costa Rica. Envision Festival doesn't allow ATMs on the grounds, but at this year's Envision, they decided to embrace some change. This year, they allowed an ATM, a crypto ATM. There's over 2,700 Bitcoin ATMs around the world. Want to know where the nearest Bitcoin ATM is near you? Go to coinatmradar.com. Along with having crypto ATMs at the festival, Envisions also supported Bitcoin as a way to purchase event tickets. And they're not the only festival accepting crypto. The Porcupine Freedom Festival in New Hampshire has started accepting Bitcoin. The Elements Music and Art Festival in Pennsylvania has also started accepting Bitcoin, along with Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. The Rootwire Festival in Ohio is also accepting the top crypto coins, but also some lesser known altcoins like Neo, Substratum, Icon, and Nano. Organic Music Festival in Taiwan took a different approach and made early bird tickets only available by purchasing with Bitcoin. Hey, what happened to the tunes, man? More tunes, more tunes. Oops, sorry, my bad. And back to the tunes. Here are some festivals that are really embracing crypto. Synapse is a three-day festival in the city of Leipzig, Germany. All sales and income during the event were shared using smart contracts. Each time a visitor bought something at the festival, the money was divided and then transferred onto different vendor accounts. The percentage of each account received was chosen on a democratic and public forum before the start of the festival. Festi introduces Contactless Crypto, the world's first NFC tag that makes cryptocurrency payments possible with a simple tap. Last September, Festi was given a test run at Ireland's largest music festival, Electric Picnic. 50 festival goers wore the wristband and could pay using Festi. Users can top up their Festi wristbands and withdraw using Dash and other cryptocurrencies. Going all in on crypto is One Love Fest, which is an art and music festival based in California. One Love Fest says this year's festival, which is scheduled November 2nd through the 4th, will be the first festival in the world to run fully on crypto. Music festivals and crypto are just getting started, and there seems to be no end in sight. And why should there be? Need more crypto in your life? Well then go to CryptoBuffalo.com and download your free digital version of the Crypto Buffalo Handbook. That's all I have to say about that. All your coins are belong to us. Crypto Buffalo! Crypto Buffalo!